Hello, happy day everyone. Welcome again to my channel, Science Time Discussion. Thank you for subscribing my channel. For the new viewers, kindly subscribe my YouTube channel by clicking the button subscribe. Thank you. Our topic in this presentation are the main branches of science. Natural science can be divided into two main branches, life science and physical science. Life science is alternatively known as biology, while physical science, the sciences concerned with the study of inanimate natural objects, the systematic study of the inorganic world. And physical science is subdivided into four branches, physics, chemistry, astronomy, and earth science. Life science, defined as any of several branches of science, such as biology, medicine, anthropology, or ecology that deal with the living organisms and their organization, life processes, and relationships to each other and their environment, also called bioscience. There are more than 30 different branches of life sciences, but we will review some of the major branches here. The life sciences are the study of living organisms. They deal with every aspect of living organisms, from the biology of cells to the biology of individual organisms to how these organisms interact with other organisms and their environment. The life sciences are so complex that most scientists focus on just one or two subspecialties. If you want to study insects, what would you be called? An entomologist. If you want to study the tiny things that give us the flu, then you need to enter the field of virology the study of viruses. If you want to study the nervous system, which life science field is right for you? So, there are several fields of the life sciences that examine interactions between organisms and their environment, such as ecology. So, we will discuss some of the major branches of life science. First is botany. Botany studies plants. Zoology studies animals. Marine biology focuses organisms living in the oceans. Freshwater biology studies organisms living in and around the freshwater lakes, streams, rivers, ponds, etc. Microbiology for microorganisms. Bacteriology for bacteria. Virology for viruses. Entomology for insects. Taxonomy studies the classifications of organisms. Cell biology studies cells and their structure and functions. Anatomy for structures of animals. Morphology for the form and structure of living organisms. Physiology studies physical and chemical functions of tissues and organs. Immunology inside organisms that protect them from disease and infection. Neuroscience studies the nervous system. Another branch is developmental biology and embryology. Studies the growth and development of plants and animals. Next is genetics. Studies the genetic makeup of living organisms and heredity. Another branch is biochemistry. Studies the chemistry of living organisms. Next is molecular biology, focuses on the nucleic acids and proteins. Next is epidemiology, studies how diseases arise and spread. Another one is evolution, the changing of species over time. Next is ecology, studies how various organisms interact with their environments. Biogeography, distribution of living organisms, and population biology studies the biodiversity, evolution, and environmental biology of populations of organisms. 
Let us proceed now to physical science. It is defined as the systematic study of the inorganic world as distinct from the study of the organic world which is the province of biological science. Physical science is ordinarily thought of as consisting of four broad areas, namely astronomy, physics, chemistry, and the earth sciences. Physics defined as the branch of science concerned with the nature and properties of matter and energy. The subject matter of physics distinguished from that of chemistry and biology includes mechanics, heat, light, and other radiation, sound, electricity, magnetism, and energy of atoms in its level. Branches of physics. Mechanics deals with motion and its causes, interactions between objects. Thermodynamics deals with heat and temperature. Next is vibrations and waves phenomena. Studies specific types of repetitive motions such as springs, pendulums, and sound. Another branch of physics is optics, deals with light including mirrors, lenses, and colors. Next one is electromagnetism, study of the electromagnetic force in electrically charged particles. Another one is relativity, it explains the behavior of objects in space and time. Another one is quantum mechanics explains the nature and behavior of matter and energy on the atomic and subatomic level. Next branch of physical science is chemistry. The branch of science that deals with the study of matter, identification of the substances of which matter is composed, the investigation of their properties and the ways in which they interact combined and change in the use of these processes to form new substances. Main branches of chemistry are Physical chemistry is the study of how matter behaves on a molecular and atomic level and how chemical reactions occur. Next branch of chemistry is organic chemistry. It is the study of most carbon-containing compounds. Another one is inorganic chemistry. It is the study of chemicals that do not contain carbon compounds. Next one is analytical chemistry. It is the identification of the composition and components of matter. And the other one is biochemistry. It is the study of the chemical processes occurring in living matter. Other branches of chemistry are environmental chemistry. For environmental chemistry, it studies matter and the environment. For example, pollution. Next is industrial chemistry. It studies the chemical process in the industry, for example, the paints. Another one is polymer chemistry. It studies the chemical interactions like textiles. Next is theoretical chemistry. It still studies the chemical interactions in many areas of emphasis. And then, the last one is thermochemistry. It uh, studies heat involved in chemical processes, for example, heat of reaction. So, another branch of science is astronomy. The branch of science which deals with celestial objects, space, and the physical universe as a whole. The branches, main branches of astronomy are Astrobiology studies the advent and evolution of biological systems in the universe. Astrophysics, a branch of astronomy that deals with the physics of the universe, including the physical properties of celestial objects as well as their interactions and behavior. What are the two major topics that astrobiologists study? 
Major topics of research in astrobiology today include identifying abiotic sources of organic compounds, the synthesis and function of macromolecules in the origin of life, early life and the development of increasing complexity, the coevolution of life and environment, and identifying, exploring, and characterizing. What are the topics in astrophysics? Topics studied by theoretical astrophysicists include stellar dynamics and evolution, galaxy formation and evolution, magnetohydrodynamics, large-scale structure of matter in the universe, origin of cosmic rays, general relativity and physical cosmology, including string cosmology and astroparticle physics. Next branch of physical science is earth science, the branch of science dealing with the physical constitution of the earth and its atmosphere. It is an integrated study of the physical history, composition, and structure, its atmosphere and oceans, and its environment in space. Knowledge of Earth science is important because some human activities are related to interaction with the planet Earth. Major branches of Earth science Geology deals with the dynamics and physical history of the Earth, the rocks of which it is composed, and the physical, chemical, and biological changes that the Earth has undergone or is undergoing pictures shows the different layers of the earth the fossils and the converging of the oceanic crust and the continental crust next one is oceanography is the study of the physical and biological aspects of the ocean oceanography applies chemistry, geology, meteorology, biology, and other branches of science to the study of the ocean. It is especially important today as climate change, pollution, and other factors are threatening the ocean and its marine life. Another one is climatology is the study of climate and how it changes over time. This science helps people better understand the atmospheric conditions that cause weather patterns and temperature changes over time. Climatology is important since it helps determine future climate expectations. Through the use of latitude, one can determine the likelihood of snow and hail reaching the surface. Next branch of science is meteorology, the branch of science concerned with the processes and phenomena of the atmosphere, especially as a means of forecasting the weather. It is important because of the impact of air conditions on life. First of all, weather forecasting has vital role in urban administration. Cities preparing extreme weather conditions such as tornadoes, snowstorms in order to prevent disasters second long-term weather forecasting is important for agriculture next branch of science is environmental science defined as interdisciplinary academic field that draws on ecology geology meteorology biology chemistry engineering and physics to study environmental problems and human impacts in the environment it is important because it enables you to understand how these relationships work for example humans breathe out carbon dioxide which plants need for photosynthesis plants on the other hand produce and release oxygen to the atmosphere which humans need for respiration it is the study of air water and land surrounding an organism or a community which ranges from a small area to earth's entire biosphere 
as well as the human impacts on the environment. And it ends for now. Hope that you learned from this video. To stay up to date with my latest videos and cool educational discussions, make sure to subscribe my YouTube channel, Science Time Discussion, by clicking the button subscribe. Thank you for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe, like, and share. Hope you learned from this discussion.